you could do it. Yeah, or, or, hey. I, I was listening to you and I uh, had like a few associations with uh, one of Slavoj Žižek's books called Sex and the Failed Absolute. Where he talks about the three unorientable surfaces. I'll add it to the map. It's like a theorem about the onion bottle to go from the double cross cap. So I had this kind of thing with uh, when you said something about how to be in it and in it. That I thought about like yeah, these kind of uh, spaces which uh, kind of impossible spaces but they do exist. So, uh, I'll just add it to the board and it would be nice to read what you're reading. I'll add the link also to the part of the book and the PDF will be there also. Okay, okay. yeah, definitely. Super, super cool. And, and one more comment. This is the only place where it's really about the transdisciplinary art of token engineering, where it's not just about, you know, STEM, you know, science, technology, engineering and math, but actually we have finally <laughs> art in it. So, it's, Thanks so much for, you know, tech making this all possible, you know, uh, many, many things happened. So this place could be then thanks for, you know, people who started Omega. Thanks for people who came in. <laughs> and uh, this is this is really, really amazing. And it's, um, yeah, I, I just look forward and I'll do my best to, you know, um, not not suffer any trade-offs but actually play with that as well i i think we will we will have some some good epiphanies here uh, okay yes go ahead <clears throat> i did kind of make an outline of uh when we we're talking about proposals you know in terms of complexity you know and how we interact mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so at the bottom of this the point of this is to come out with you know, living wisdom, right? Yeah. So if you're talking about it from a Batesonian standpoint, then it would be warm data, right? Um, mm -hmm. I prefer mm -hmm. living wisdom, you know? But I think mm -hmm. what I've tried to do here is to try to try to explain the process of, of how to arrive at living wisdom. Mm -hmm. And it might be interesting um, for people who want to make proposals to try to see in what way, you know, something like this could uh, could maybe create some clarity about what it is that they're doing in terms of you know creating proposals where did you share it um i think it's been in the gravity uh thing but i could share it in omega now. yeah yeah please if you if you just share some links because yeah definitely like uh these are also words uh echoing from you um Actually, one thing that you know that uh, really uh, 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 triggered me uh, at first was every time when Mendogadas was saying, "Yeah, but what is it that that makes you feel alive inside?" Right. And that was, you know, exactly the point where I was missing something inside. That's <laughs> that's right. what why I'm here, and and I think we're we're exactly getting there. We're you know, transcending these these paradigms. This this is the way, kind of. You know, this is how it's done, and we have to adhere to rules because that's what engineers do. We define rules, and then they need to be automated, and we all just becomes cogs in the machine. And that was literally the trajectory that I was on uh, when when all of these things uh, unfolded. And definitely, yeah. Please share. Um, yeah, I, I did. I see. I'm just trying to say maybe we could use it as a way yeah. to ensure that we remain alive. Do you know what I'm saying? That we actually have budget for, mm -hmm. um, you know, <laughs> expectation setting, what is alive, you know, because yeah. we're too focused on the, results, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but also, you know, a uh, general remark, you know, don't, don't expect tech or, or just the working group Omega to be able to, you know, cover any funds and so on. So if uh, always expect that extrinsic reward as an add on that will be coming in and so on. Yes, but uh, it's will it just puts too much pressure, especially on a working group that, you know, 
that is built to work on token engineering ethics and so on to to have that tension in my view but of course uh, i understand totally and uh, we will get those funds but you will see like the, the budgeting from token engineering comments especially in the beginning is not not big chunks so that's just a, a side note you know for for people yes i i wanted to speak about for a while <laughs> i forgot and then that's that the last minute okay so uh especially about the point of uh, capacity building mm -hmm. uh i wanted to I think a good addition would be uh, flow theory in psychology, Sixet Mihai's mm -hmm. theory of flow. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. In terms of skill building and, and motivation uh, regarding skills, I think it would be a really good way to frame things uh, regarding that. And I'll leave it to that, I won't add anything else, <laughs> any of the details. But yeah. please share links. And I can work on that. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and just a I... comment to that as well. Like in in token engineering ethics, uh, ethical principles number four that we uncovered is um, enable informed participation. And Manu uh, is also working on uh, you know creating a practice session based on the um, capabilities approach, right? So that is one approach by a um, Nobel Prize winning um, person. However, you know, so what I also like is uh, that we synthesize, right? That we don't, don't just say, hey, this this is award winning and that's why, you know, it has credentials and that's why we're just going to take it and we'll be fine, but actually really add things that resonate, um, synthesize, and then as we have also in our, I, I like that that we say okay, you know we we see what is it that we can put on the table all these maps right and we subvert them to see the opposite, you know and then we really subtract things we simplify it without truncating you know we just don't add model to model to model to model so it becomes a a monster model but actually to to find out what is the essence that we're seeing that is then contextualized in, in the space in which we are, this token engineering um, space. Um, and that's basically what, what we do. And for example, this flow theory, if you exchange, I'm sure, uh, you know, Manu uh, will, will find resonance and maybe also can uh, link to it and, and could also uh, make use of it for developing this practice session and so on. So definitely flow that just one more, you know, uh, <laughs> resonant uh, point there is um, flow, uh, finding your, your bliss, uh, runners high, you know, all those things is exactly where you are in this extremely balanced state. And it does not necessarily have to be, you know, movement, but it can. So yeah, definitely in the intrinsic motivation, the biochemistry of action, if you will. So there are many, many things that we looked into because uh, also, uh, well, when you are designing incentives, um, incentive mechanisms, you are thinking hard about how to motivate people and whether you're legitimized to do so. Uh, always a side note, but there basically, again, it's a very interesting petal of the crypto economics flower, um, psychology and decision making. So all these sources that we can put together, again, can be part of the consilience library, at the very least our Omega curation for example so don't hesitate to change and exchange um, those links 